and 10. So uh, showing no sense of, uh, you know, I'm not concerned. I did what I had to do, and that's what you have to do. In fairness, that's what you have to do. It's just unfortunate that in doing so, as we see, that was the early in the session, the McLaren stuck facing the wrong way. Well, I mean, the track was busy throughout. We had to run through the three qualifying section sessions for the three sets of drivers, and the red flag came out not once, but twice in the first of the three qualifying sessions, interrupting the, the, the thought process of the drivers, the heat cycle on the tyres, and uh, back out they went. But uh, traffic everywhere you could see around the circuit. The drivers all had a good amount of running yesterday, but there's no substitute for track time. And, of course... As you saw there, a huge lock-up, not everybody getting it right. The Team Parker Racing Audi uh, having a little too much excitement. Yeah, so I'm still perplexed. So we're looking to the final session, and we had the number three Audi, the first one out the pit, Stefan Ortelli, but he didn't manage. He, he, it looks at this stage so he had clear lap, which of course he did, but when he got to the end of the lap, he found himself in the heart of the traffic, and that was ruined, and in no time at all, he tumbled down the order, and uh, that was a major consequence of the number three Audi. It was all about getting the heat in your tyres, but delivering, finding that clear se section of track, and the team that did it best, we saw yet another lock-up, that was uh, the 84 uh, Bentley, but it was the 63 Lamborghini with Mirko Bortolotti. We've just heard him talking about um, finding a clear track. He managed to do that, but on top of that, the Lamborghini clearly has a very strong pace. It's a six-hour race, and we'll be starting on pole position.